Santo é o Senhor dos Exércitos. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'd like to greet the church, those who are connected with us and through the Zoom, with the YouTube, with the peace of the Lord. I'd like to invite those who can to stand up. We're going to read our Bibles to meditate. Leviticus, Leviticus 25, Leviticus 25, verse 16, Leviticus 25, verse 16. projected there, the word of God says, according to the multitude of years, you shall increase its price, and according to the few number of years, you shall diminish its price, for he sells to you according to the numbers of the years of the crops. Dear God, we plead. For the blood of Jesus, and one more time, we ask you, Lord, the help of you, Lord, tonight, so we can understand what you have prepared for us tonight, that the man, the reason, the human reason can go through earth tonight, and only this, your voice of the Spirit can make place in our hearts. Give your grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Dears, wherever I go, what's the number? Just the, cho the chorus, wherever I go. God gave us a revelation when we pray, when we when we're singing this song. The God reveal about a man that he has a lot of material projects. But he said, because these projects have not been realized in his life, not going to come through. Our material projects has been is having conflict because these projects also have been have been uh, affecting his spiritual life. So when we're singing this song, the Lord revealed that He wanted to send this brother a message that He's a, He's a loving God, and He loves us, and the message, brethren, for you, for us, all of us, want to be happy. Sing, sing with me. Know that for you, Jesus has died. You want to be victorious. It's not with the bank account full that you're going to be happy. Give yourself to Jesus, the Salvator. Only, only when we give our life completely to Jesus, we'll be victorious. The message has been given from the Lord that this is a, this is the good message for all of us that the material never governs the spirit this the spiritual pastor Ronildo says of the spiritual always governs governs our lives the text that we read speaks about the feast of the jubilee the feast of the jubilee the Lord reveals many feasts for the Jewish people. And if we turn the page, we're going to see tabernacle feast, uh, for silver Thomas, for all the Jewish people. Because the Lord is a, a Lord that likes feast. He likes the feast. He's not a, he's not a sad God. He's not a 
No, no. Just on a contract. He's a happy guard. With his grace, with his love, he wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't receive what comes from the Lord. We understand that the Old Testament is prophetic. In many ways, speak to us prophetically. Many situations on the Old Testament. There are revelations, prophecies that the Lord wants to speak to, to us in those last days for the faithful church. And this text is not different. It's not different from that. This text talks about the Jubilee feast. And like Israel had its feast, the church has its feast as well. The church has its, its celebrations. I was asked today, when we're going to have a, another feast in the church? When we're going to have our next feast? It's we're anxious for that because every time we have a feast in the church, it's a it's a it's a joyful moment because of the symbology of that moment for the prophetic that takes us, that fills us with joy. The church has its feasts, seminars. This, this service is a feast. When I brought this, uh, this message in Port St. Louis, a, bra a brother said, the, the feast in heaven. Yeah, when a sinner converts himself, there's a feast in, the, in heaven. The Lord is a Lord that likes feast. And in this text, we're going to see that at, in the Jubilee time, which happened every 50 years, what happened? Those people that, that were incarcerated for, for any reason, they were the old people, any situation, they were, they were freed. So in the Jubilee, they were, f they were freed. If by any chance anybody was was in, taken in jail for owing people money, those were also free at that time. There were many situations where, when we read this text, situation is when the person lost his property, it's his land for owing because of owing money, because of debt. Difficult situation. I lose this piece of land when it was in a jubilee time. This land was given back to that person. So we're going to stay here in, in this example, in this situation. So when the person loses the land, so we're going to illustrate this. And with the jubilee, that land was given back. Let's suppose that jubilee is today. And the person acquired, uh, not today, let's say, okay, uh, near from now, the person, uh, person has gone through difficulties and, and needed to sell that piece of land. It doesn't belong to that person. Someone else took that land. This land was worth a lot of money because, because it was 49 years for that person to, uh, to uh, enjoy that. At that time, people used the land to survive, to plant, to and that land. Because, uh, you know, in 50 years, it would go back to the land. In 49 years, yeah, there's a lot of credit in that land. It was worth a lot. At 30, also, 30 years, also, 20, 25 years, maybe half, half of the price, half of, half of that amount depreciating so when that when that land was like two years to, to for the jubilee to happen that that land was worth a lot less and then in months from the jubilee so that land was worthless nobody would want to sell it because it was close to the jubilee the jubilee was right there that land was going to give it it was going to be given back and it was worth less, very less. Brethren, in our spiritual life, it's like that too. It's like that as well. The 
the Jubilee here, prophet prophetically speaking, speaks about the eternity. The eternity when it's a, the more the further it is from that heart, from our heart, the more we the more we give them value. We value the things of the world. The more distance the eternity is from us, we give the value for this earth. For this earth. But I don't say I don't say about our vacations, you know, our our night outs with our families. Not not like not like that. Those that those that are, you know prevent the prophetic in our lives. The me the you know so the furthest we are from the Jubilee, the furthest we are from the eternity. You could be certain of that. Yeah, we give a lot more value to the things of the world that, that the other things. And the Lord does not want that for us. I'm going to use here a situation. We see this wall here, right? White, white wall. We have here, you know, you know, we have here painters, you know, excellent painters. Pastor Renildo, Pastor Sada, they painted this wall white, beautiful, you know, first degree. So suddenly something comes, and then this spot of black dot in there. Where does our attention go to? The wall is big. But if we put a black dot in there, where will our attention go to? To that dark place, right? We can look around, you know, from one side to another, but you're going to be looking at the dot. All the time you're going to be looking at the black dot. You know what that tells us, brethren? That this white wall talks about eternity and many times a little black dot makes us makes us lose this notion of how big it is eternity the little problems of lives of our lives the things from this earth the, the addictions many times we have everything to enjoy for the eternity but we are but we are focusing on the dot on the dark star the mistakes from from that person from the other person and the and the fault is never ours it's always someone else's and and now and, and this word is not a word of uh, exhortation it's just an alert for all of us we have been we have been looking to the eternity or or we have been focusing on the little things of life the little dark dots it's our choice it's our choice we are the one that choose it do we want to live in eternity or do we want to live in the things in this life so both of them we can't do it because the holy spirit is jealous Brethren, Matthew, can you put down Matthew, Matthew 6, 21? Maybe my words doesn't make a lot of sense, but this is Jesus' life. This is Jesus' words. What? Look what Jesus says. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Where is our heart? Where is our heart? There is our treasure. Is our heart in eternity? If our heart is in eternity, you can be certain that you start living it here. You start to, to, you start to leave the mystery of the eternity right here. Did you know that? We've gone through, we've been passing through this pandemic situation. And you know, 
and you know that many, many brethren of this church, many brethren of this, of this church had many experiences with eternity. Praise is the word revealed. Deliveries of death. Deliveries of, of family that were, that were going away from the presence of the Lord. And the Lord opened, opened, opened doors, opportunities for work. Incredible things happening during this pandemic. But I can see. But I can tell something. A lot of people are still looking at the dot, the dots, dot, and a lot of people are living in eternity, because I, I'm certain that the Maranatha Church in Popolo Beach has been living the eternity. We have not been focusing on the little things of this life, the human failure. No, no, because the brethren have been living big things, great things. And the Lord will continue to reveal big things, great things in our lives. It's not going to be this little dot, this pandemic thing in the history that's going to take us away from the presence of the Lord. It's not going to be that in the name of Jesus. And our house is covered with the blood of Jesus. And we're not going to give up. We're not going to surrender. We're not going to be looking at the small things of this life. life. And the word says that that Israel, great things did the Lord for us. That's why we, we are joyful. That's the decision of the church. That's the thoughts of the church. Great things the Lord have done for us. That's why we joy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you want to live the eternity, if you want to live the eternity here, stay next to the eternity. Stay next to the Lord. Because He's going to reveal the eternity. I'm going to tell you an experience of a family to finalize this message. The family was going through a spiritual trials. And they decided to, and they, they were able to identify that they were going to the wrong way. And the, and the man of the house said, this week, we're going to we're going to give to the Lord because the situation is bad. We're going to praise to the Lord. So they met in the room. They praised to the Lord. They asked the Lord a blessing in the lives of each one, in the hearts of each one. And the Lord gave them a vision. And the vision was just the beginning of what the Lord was going to do in that family. Amen. Hallelujah. Two days later, the Lord gave a dream. And the vision, where, the vision said where that family was going to, in the direction that family was going to, and the place that this family was going it was not a pleasure, you know, a pleasant place. Another two days, the Lord gave another dream. And, the, and that dream, he confirmed that that night, that position of that family, he deviated all the, all the bad narrows, all the human thoughts, all the reasons, and he had opened a, no, a new way for that family. There are brethren living in eternity. There are brethren living the experience with the Lord. If you if you're not if you haven't been having experience with the Lord, approach the eternity. Approach the Lord. This family, it's healthy in the Lord. But if that family had continued to go on that way, they would uh, they would fall. And tonight, the Lord had given a vision. The Lord gave a vision showing a woman that had a knowledge. She, she had known that around her house in the neighborhood there was a, there was a cloud of locusy, cloud of locusy. 
and it was necessary to cover their house with the veil, so the so the house wouldn't be penetrated by the locality. And at the vision, they saw that the, the neighbors, the, 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 all the neighborhood was covered with the veil, but the house of their a woman was not protected. And that veil was given to the people. The sister did not have a house covered with a veil. And interesting that tonight, there was an angel, angel came and the angel would bring the veil to that, that lady. And immediately she refused. But during the service, the Lord was speaking to her heart through the songs, through the word. And at the end of the service, she extended her hand to receive the veil from the from the hand of the angel that came from the eternity. Brethren, we know that our house is our house, is our heart that needs to be protected. Protected with the blood of Jesus, with the things from the eternity, from the things that come from above. We cannot let it contaminate. We cannot let our hearts be contaminated with the things from the heart because the Jubilee is next. The Lord's coming to get us, Maranatha. Jesus came. We want that all, all of us want to go to the heaven. All of us with the holding hands. We want the all of us go to heaven. The Lord is giving an opportunity for this woman, for, the, for your house. Maybe your house is going through a need. Our brethren, they're connected with the Zoom, with the YouTube. We don't know what this family is going through. But if it's not protected, cover yourselves with the blood of Jesus. Approach, approach, approach the Lord, the eternity, Jesus, because he's the only one that can give us the victories. If you want to be victorious, you want to be victorious, give yourself to Jesus, the Salvador. Bless be the name of the Lord.
glória, louvado seja o Teu nome, Senhor, por todos os livramentos, Senhor, até mesmo aqueles que não vemos, Senhor, louvamos a Ti pelo Teu amor, Senhor, pela Tua misericórdia, saudai a Jesus. Blessed be the name of Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. I'd like to invite the church to stand up. We're going to have two words of glorification. We adore your name, Lord. We praise your name for the beauty of your holy. Because you're great. Because you are King of glory. For your great love, O Lord. Because it's because you have taken care of our lives, of our family. In a special way, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Because we are a people. We because you are beloved church because you have covered up with the blood of Jesus because we adore your words we praise for your presence we exalt you Lord because it's good to serve you Lord for your grace we adore your name Lord we bless your name Lord for your great love in our lives. Because one day you sent your beloved son to die for us, Lord. There's no comparable love like this, Lord, to surrender, to surrender, to render our, our gratitude for your Holy Spirit in our lives, for the actions, to feel your, to your holy presence truly in this place, Lord. We want to say that we love you, Lord. But you are a God of love, a God of mercy, a God that embraces us. Each time that we need you, embrace us, Lord. You're the one that speaks profoundly in our heart. You are the one that visits us, that knows, that knows our needs and speaks it to our hearts in a, in a marvelous way. Every time we come to your house, Lord, we can hear your sweet voice speaking to our hearts. We don't have words, enough words to thank you, Lord. But we want to say that we love you, Lord. We love to serve you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus.
I visit in you tonight and brought your lives. The relief of the relief for your soul, the relief for your heart. I receive from you the beautiful and the perfect songs and tell you how anxious for you to be with me in the eternity. I have been, uh, I've been living a part of this eternity here because a lot I have been, have been talking for you, sister, tonight. I want to bring an uh, awakening for you. I, I like to hear from you, your songs, your adoration. I don't look the offer, but the offer. I look the heart of each one. For that, I have been looking your heart. And I say that many things I want to speak, say to you in your house. Beloved church, glorify the name of the Lord. Because I live with you, my peace and my joy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glória, Jesus. the service, dear Lord. We don't have words to to express our gratitude for you, for you, Lord. Powerful, merciful, love, loving God. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, for you, the Holy Spirit visiting us tonight because because this is only a piece of what we're going to leave with you forever. To each house, each house that's watching us, for each house, we praise you, Lord, because great is you, Lord. We give you this service, Lord, the our offer, but you want our heart. You want the offer. To, uh, you want the offer, the one that offers. And we praise your name for everything. Take us in peace to our houses, to our home, and prepare us for tomorrow's service. We pray in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. We uh, have come to the end of another service. Yeah, we could start a video here. It would be easy. Amen. Any us? Uh, any message? Group B. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a visit from the youth. We're gonna we're gonna visit a young person that's gonna be visited. Amen. Peace the Lord to all. Only the youth, the young people.